So this video is on uh, the error that you receive while installing SQL Server 2022 in your Windows 11 PC. Uh, the error is basically uh, wait on database engine recovery handle failed. Check the SQL Server error log for potential causes. Uh, so along with this error, you will also get uh, a path uh, which will direct you to that particular folder containing the log file. Just click on that path will take you there. Uh, so the first thing is why we are having this error. Uh, the primary reason is, I'll just simply switch my screen here. So the primary reason is, uh, is due to the system disk sector size is greater than 4 kilobytes. SQL Server 2022 is expecting a sector size of uh, 4 KB but the Windows 11 all, all these new PCs are coming with a sector size of uh, more than 4 KB typically you will find a 16 KB or something <coughs> uh, and how do you check this problem well ideally both are Microsoft products and we were expecting these uh, to work seamlessly uh, but anyways uh, I hope uh, Microsoft is able to find a solution for this uh, soon enough. So, uh, to check what exactly is the problem, how do you find out if you uh, have this problem, is uh, you use this uh, command. Sorry, I think I scrolled. Oh, yeah, so this is uh, this command. Of course, I'll share the link. Uh, in the description and you can definitely use this commands uh, from there you can copy it so uh, how do you check it if you have the problem so what you will do is go to cmd just run as administrator and this will open up I already have the cmd open up for me I'll just simply run the query here so uh, in, in this command make sure to uh, use the driver where uh, definitely mention the driver which has a SQL server which is obvious but you sometimes you need to specify it okay so hit enter in uh, in my case you can see uh, so they, these are the two uh, factors or variables so to say where, which we need to have a look at currently it says 4096 but in your case if it's a Windows 11 installation you, and you haven't uh, messed around with it you will probably see it as 16 KB I'll show you how it uh, actually looks like I'll scroll down Microsoft has uh, mentioned it this is a side-by-side -side comparison of this command if you run it on Windows 10 and Windows 11 how it will look like so this is uh, 4096 for me reason being I did a fix suggested by them but this is uh, by default this is what it should look like uh, where the physical bytes per sector atomicity is 16384 which is 16 KB again uh, this parameter as well physical bytes per sector for performance is 16384 right uh, since we have a, a compatibility issue here we have to fix it and uh, they have provided a solution for this the solution is basically to add a registry key which will cause the behavior of Windows 11 and later to be similar to Windows 10 this will force the sector size to be emulated as 4 KB uh, so uh, we need to add this registry key how do you want to do this is there are three ways you can either choose to use the registry editor or you can use uh, command prompt or PowerShell yeah we have all the details mentioned in here I'll just quickly show you one by one so you go to registry editor click here click yes um, just copy the path from here right let's copy it paste it here hit enter I have by uh, I had since I had opened it up it's already there for me but yeah just copy paste here the path you should uh, get directed to this folder and next what you need to do is you need to add this particular key there so to do that just right click here on the screen click on new multi-string value I won't do it because it's already there uh, for me but yeah just click on it uh, name it as forced uh, as I have done forced physical sector size in by bytes and uh, in the data section mention uh, or the modify the new value type as star 4095 and hit ok 
if you find this confusing, uh, another method is you again open CMD, run as investigator, go here and copy this code and you just paste it here, right? So, uh, sorry, right? So, basically what, what this is, is just copy this So this is the command hit enter I won't do it because it's already done doesn't make sense to add one more right and if you want to once you run ran that command if you want to check if it's really done the job is is this command that which is at the next to validate if the key was successfully added just run this and it should uh, give you the same result as that you can see here in the registry data which is this All right so once you've done that what you need to do is restart your PC and of course uh, there's also a way to uh, do it on partial as administrator you can try this option too if you know partial okay so after that restart your PC open up SSMS oh you you also might want to check if the SQL server is really running to do that just simply once you restarted your PC run this query in CMD as administrator and you should see the status as running or you can also check in services go to services uh, should open up scroll down to SQL server express SQL express it should show the status as running so once you got that open up SSMS it and uh, just to show you that this actually works Now this click on connect and it's working all right so that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching